leader of VMB. So this is my favorite kind of Madden. This is this is grudge match type Madden. Emotions are going to be high. I mean, it, I like it's not all fun and games. Sometimes people don't like each other on the sticks, and sometimes those are the best matches. This is the first of their two matchups. It's going to be in the regular season. Take a look at the key players here for Joel. Marcus Mariota, Paul Krause. He'll be out of position at wide receiver. And then Mel Rinfro, the Cowboy legend, he'll be on the back end of that D. Yeah, good squad right there by Joel. He likes to run the ball a lot. He has Jamal Williams at his running back as well. And this is the beauty of Ultimate Team. You see, you know, even though Joel's in the Steelers uniforms, can still have Mar Marcus Mariota at the quarterback. Can get legends like Minnesota's own Paul Krause even playing out of position at wide receiver instead of free safety. It's crazy things happen in Ultimate Team. Well, on the other side is the champion of, from the Washington Redskins. A lot of pride. And he's getting ready to lock in. And there's his key players. He also has Marcus Mariota. He's sort of been the, the meta. There's the legend Marvin Harrison. And Ronnie Lott has been making plays for Goes. Yeah, and I think that there's a theme here. This Marcus Mariota is on so many rosters. So if you're into Ultimate Team and you're wondering, what quarterback should I try out? What are the pros doing? What are the best players in the world doing? That Marcus Mariota is part of it. You might want to go give him a spin if you can. So we are ready. The moment has finally come here in the Elite Conference Division A. Goes and Joel CP. Of course, the other members in that conference is the Noble Prodigy and Blocky, who got in by the skin of his teeth. Yeah, Blocky, the 16 seed, said barely got in. Real quick, Scott, just for those at home wondering, the playbooks these players are using is you got Ghost in the West Coast offense and the Kansas City defense. Joel CP in the run and shoot offense, which we don't see a lot of, and the Colts defensive playbook. So you might want to keep those playbooks in mind. You see something you like, jump into those playbooks, go try it at home. Goes will have it first. Gets away from the pressure. Ooh. And they're going to count that as a rush. Gain of zero. Second and ten. That good defense right there by Joel. He's known for running the ball, playing stingy defense, kind of like Problem. Likes to cap a little bit more than Problem, though. Week one of the Madden 18 Ultimate League. And keep in mind, Joel was here in attendance yesterday when Ghost won the club championship. Good dot right there by Ghost. When Ghost won the championship, so Joel had all day yesterday to sit back, watch Ghost's games, and get some scouting done. Let's see how much it paid off for him. Good find there to Mike Wallace right there, short of midfield. Push back to the 42. Second and 17. Yeah, and Joel Crooms Porter from Washington, D.C., 18 years old. You're going to see him play with a lot of fire and passion. He's the type of guy, when he makes a play on you or gets a sack, he's going to let you hear about it. Some Madden players are equipped to deal with that trash talk. Some of them aren't. We're going to see how Ghost deals with it here today. You either love it or you hate it. And here comes a second and 17 for Ghost. He's going to flip the bunch. Harrison is solo to the right. Wide open. Mariota's got some room. Ew. Spins and slides to the 46. So that's going to make it third and five. Nice gain, a gain of 12. Risky spin, but when it works and looks that good, why not? Looked like Ghost missed the deep crossing route coming over the middle. And one thing about Joel's game plan that I like is he, a lot of people like to run zone, but Joel's on defense. He's not afraid to mix in that man-to-man -man coverage. Give you a different look than what you're used to seeing. Needs five. Got to get to the 41. All right, a minute and a half gone by. And Mariota! It's a flag. And we're going to have a flag down. That's going to be intentional grounding. He's going to back him up. That's a loss of a down, so it's going to be fourth and 16. Intentional grounding. Might need to send that video to QA one time. Looked a little awkward. 
Kind of like you at your high school prom, fourth and 16. I didn't go to my high school prom, Cole Train. Exactly. <laughs> the oh, throw, and it's picked it. off! Get some pressure, please, please, please! Uh-oh! Uh -oh. And he will take this to the house. Touchdown, Joel. And look at Joel. He's not only capping that ghost, telling him he stinks. He turns to the crowd, to the rest of the EMB crew, and tells them ghost stinks too. Man, that boy plays with a lot of emotion. Young 18-year-old from D.C. bobbing his head. Look at him. Look at that intensity, Coltrane. And when you talk to people... They say it, Joel's one of my favorite players to watch. Not everyone's bringing that type of intensity and trash talking. Like you said, love it or hate it, it can be entertaining. Certainly add some flair here. Wow. See how Ghost can respond. I mean, and another thing with Ghost is this guy's, see this pick, but he's been on fire lately. Like, he hasn't been making reads like this. This is a guy that won the Philadelphia Challenger event won the club event. Do the Dodgers have a belt? I am besting you. Tell him he doesn't deserve a belt. Out to prove it right now. Let's see if how goes it will react to that. And you wonder, you know, we talked about it off the top. Is Goes going to continue the momentum or will there be a big letdown after the big win? Well, right now, the momentum's all on Joel's side. It's a long game. Finds Grant. So that'll be a first down. They'll mark it at the 38. Remember, Joel CP's no slouch. This is a young man. This is his first year being eligible to compete in the MCS circuit. And he made that Madden Challenge major live event and made it all the way to the Final Four before getting knocked out of that tournament. And we talked about Renfro. And, and Renfro made plays already. And now it's Kraus. Oh, Willie he's Mays swagging. down and swagged oh. out on him. Oh my goodness, it's disrespect to the fullest. Look at him. Waving to the crowd. Celebrating mid-stride with the interception. Bobbing his head. Turn the swag down just a little bit, Joel CP. My goodness. Right now it's on a 100,000 trillion. Watch the swag right here. Oh, they cut the replay short. He did a little <laughs> skippy step, which you're only supposed to do when you're running into the end zone. He did it mid-play. That's just pure disrespect on the sticks. He was off to see the wizard. First and 10 at the 23 after the turnover. And there's a sack by Goes. Take a look at this interception again, what you're talking about. Watch Clicking right the heels there. together. Oh my goodness, you're just swagging on yesterday's club championship winner for the Washington Redskins. One of the hottest players in the country right now. It's all over him. And the thing to remember, it's only a seven point game and here on third down, it's third and 20. I think the thing that's so impressive is we've been seeing ghosts on offense be pretty much unstoppable. He went up against the greatest Madden player of all time, Problem. Problem could barely snip a stop, stop against him. And here's young Joel, two stops already. Big fourth down though, Coltrane. Good hit by Night Train Lane, but a nice gain of 16. That brings up a fourth to manageable. And in Madden, they go for it. You get so many little possessions, Play. and he picks up the first down. He had third and 20. And just like that, he moves the chains. And what he did was his best Tom Brady impression. Hurry up to the line. Don't give Ghost any time to adjust or set up his defense. Quick hike him. Find the open man to his stealer. Juju Smith-Schuster. Yeah, he only made one adjustment, and that was a quick hitch. There he goes again. Swings it outside. Andre Reed with a nice juke. And he's going to be forced out of bounds at the 49. And I like this gun spread look by Joel. He said this is the formation why he runs that run and shoot playbook, which we haven't seen anybody run that I could think of this season. Man, he's got some dots cooked up out of this one. The only negative thing about this formation is you don't have any tight ends. So you got to be able to pick up the heat. Good throw, T.Y. Hilton. Four for four now for Joel C.P. See a little Joel face cam right there. This is a young man. I mean, we get to watch 10, 10, 10 games of him this season. Try to save some of that trash talk for the later games of the season, Joel. 
These guys will face each other again down the road. It's actually going to be the final game of the season. So for these guys, it's a goes and Joel sandwich. Week one and week ten. Wow. And he is just hanging back. And that's going to end the first quarter here, RG. Joel CP with a 7 nothing lead. His game's been doing the talking, and he's been doing the talking. Seven nothing. Going up on the start of the second quarter. Five minute quarters. Talked about that play clock. You only get 30 seconds. So high powered offense in action here in only week one. How about these matchups in week one? I mean, it's the, the top two in each of the divisions. Madden on display. I mean, some of these divisions are crazy. You got Dubby versus Problem in the same division. Skimbo Kiv with Spot Me Please. Dreamy Joke like we saw earlier today. This is what the Ultimate League's about. And that's going to bring up a third and four Suggs with already one and a half sacks. If you're Joel, you got to be careful right here. You're already in field goal range. Can make this a two possession ball game. You get the ball at half. Just don't turn it over and get yourself, take a sack to get yourself knocked out of field goal range. You should be in good shape. Justin Tucker is his kicker. Goal's gonna send the house. Gets rid of it to the outside, and there's Andre Reed. I like the Joel Cam. Look at the production team stepping up. Crispy. Ends it off to Williams, and you know we were looking at the roster earlier, and we looked at Jamal Williams, and we said, "Who?" That's like the third string running back for the Packers, all-time leading rusher at BYU, had a decent season this year with 556 yards and four touchdowns. How do you know these stats? Don't try me. Don't <laughs> stump. I'm telling you. Don't, don't, don't try me, RG. Bring back the stump the Schwab show. I like Coltrane. Second and eleven. Hands it off to Williams, and there is Jamal Williams. Put some respect on that. Touchdown, Joel. Oh, my gosh. Running like he's back at BYU one time. And Joel talking all kinds of trash, but backing it up so far. I thought but you were a champion. I thought you were a belt. Where's the belt? I thought you were a champion. He's asking for the belt. Where's the belt, Ghost, he's saying. But one thing he needs to keep in mind is Ghost has a high-powered offense. This game is far from over. If Ghost can put together a scoring drive, he's right back in it. He could put some pressure on Joel. And there's nothing better in competitive Madden, Scott, than when you're going up against someone that likes to talk a lot of trash and let you hear about it, and then you punch them in the mouth and shut them up one time. And best believe that's on Ghost's mind. That's what he wants to do. See the replay again, and... 14-point game now for Goes. Got to get going. Mariota low throw. Wallace picks it off the turf. I mean, it was almost going to be a strip animation there before he went down. Gain of seven. Goes rocking the needed hoodie. Repping Dub Dot Dubby and Skimbo's needed gaming. Second half, he might have to pull out that Josh Norman jersey. Proved pretty well for him. <laughs> uh oh. Here's a bomb. Ooh. Just over his head, the outreach going to bring up a third and three. Game of inches, Scott. Game of inches. Just missed that one. He's got to regain his composure. There's that man-to-man -man coverage. Through that pass to A, you saw the safety coming down quickly. But he's able to pick up the first down, first and 10 of the 42. I like how Joel mixes in that man-to-man -man coverage. A lot of players at home can learn from that. Everybody just wants to sit in cover two, cover three, cover four. Every now and one, throwing some two-man un under us and cover one press. We've seen that turn into some turnovers. 
in the last couple weeks of Madden football. I mean, people aren't getting that many looks on a high level against man coverage. Here's man to man again. And Harrison gets away. And that'll move it to the 49, and it's going to be a second and one. That was Darrell Rivas on the coverage. And it's been a long time since you can put him on an island. <laughs> second and one. That's not a flashback. <laughs> that is Darrell Rivas. That's good defense. That's great defense, but better scramble. And Marriott at the 30. And walks out of bounds at the 24. Big game by Mary Goda. I have a feeling Ghost is going to get his composure going and make this a ball game here. He's young, but I don't think he's phased by the trash talk. Nice delay. Really the first time you've seen him hand it off to Herschel Walker for a gain of seven. And that's been key to him, that mixing in the running game. You know what's cool about the Ultimate League, real quick, Scott, is you got Ghost at 20 years old and Joel at 18 years old. And both of these guys have already guaranteed them for being in the Ultimate League $10,000. When you're that young and you're just making bank like that, playing a video game, it's nice. They could not win a game for the rest of the season. You still walk away with 10K. I think the Elite Conference Division A, that might be the that might be the youngest group. You got Goes, Joel, Prodigy, and Blocky. Yeah. That, that's some youngsters. I don't think anyone's over 21 in that group. That means they're back at the hotel getting good sleep. Last place is 10,000, but remember, first place for this ultimate league, 100,000. There's a big sack right there. Oh, and we got a fourth and 23. So he was in field goal range. Now he's pushed all the way back. It'd be a 54 yarder from there. And his kicker's Dan Bailey, so he's got to go for it. Do you see what Joel's taking. doing? Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Cole, but he's looking around to the crowd asking if anyone wants to take the sticks and play for him. This. Happen at Goss in all types of ways. Pretty creative with it, too. I got to give it to him. Oh, and he Goss! gives up a bomb! Whoa! Oh, no. You, you had Ghost's back all the way against the wall. You give up the big fourth and 27 with his high powered offense. Now he's back in the ball game, sips his water, and the Washington Redskins champion has Joel's face in his hand. Fourth and 23, and he gives up the bomb. And that's that feeling I'm talking about, Cole, when the opponent's talking at you, getting crazy, and you can make them face palm like that. It's a good feeling. Take a look at it again. It's just a nine route, and it's a dippity dot. Good throw, good execution. Yeah, <laughs> look at Joel's <laughs> face. <laughs> he knows it's his fault. Of course, Rinfro had the big interception, but that time he was burnt toast. Here comes Ghost. Get away from the pressure. He'll throw it away. And that'll bring up second and ten. I'm telling you, Ghost told me since he started rocking this Nita gaming hoodie and shirt, he hasn't lost a game. He won the Philly Challenger event, went through clubs online elimination, clubs pro ball single elimination, won the club championship last year been the hottest player on the circuit. Feels like the need of game and gear has got him feeling fresh. Third and four. Block shed to the outside. Uh -oh. He just throws his thing and nearly picked off by Lot. And now Ghost tells Joel, you're terrible, you're awful. <laughs> A lot more respectful in the way he says it, though. Joel's standing up. It's like Joel's almost like he's in a rap battle when he's capping at you. You ever watch any of those smack? I think I have eight mile on VHS. <laughs> Fourth and four. <laughs> He's going to go for it, because why not? Minute 20 to go. Leading by seven, and he just lobs this one up. And T.Y. pulls it in. That's a dot. He was under pressure, and he just threw it up. It's a big play by Joel Wow. 
Hands it off to Williams. And this time he's stuffed. Goes will use a timeout to stop the clock with 55 seconds to go in the half. Second and 10. Throws it low and Reed. Almost, you gotta be careful over there. Easily can throw a pick. Third and 10. I'm loving this game right now, Coltrane. The emotions are high, the trash talk is there. The rivalry's there. This is classic competitive Madden at its finest right now, Coltrane. And he throws a hot one. And T.Y. Hilton once again moves the chains. Now he's in the red zone at the 13. And props to Joel C.P. in this gun spread formation, cooking up all kinds of dots. Perfect throw for the first. It feels refreshing to see someone slanging the ball all over the field, not in that gun bunch that everyone likes to run. I like seeing the different formations. Change of pace. And Williams able to squeeze through to the three. And that's going to bring up a third and one. And he's going to go tempo. He's got no timeouts. Clock's ticking. Hands it off again. And this time it's going to be a touchdown. Second one of the day for Jamal Williams. I can't believe you. You suck. And for goes here, you know you're going to have some of that chatter coming in from Joel, but you got to play your game. Ghost can't try to get in a back and forth. He had a big win, winning the Madden 18 Club Championship, but now you're in the a fresh slate. Yeah, yeah. And the ultimately, you got to get it going. And that's a really good point, Scott. A really good point. Some players like Joel are built to be able to play at their highest level when they're trash talking and engaging in this type of behavior and some players it can completely throw them off their game whether they're being talked to or they start talking we're used to seeing ghost focus up but he's getting a little chirpy with joel too and i don't know if that's going to be a good thing for him we'll see first and ten at the 30. has one timeout finds mike wallace and wallace will push it past midfield of the 49. He's going to have an opportunity here to try to sling one toward the end zone or break a long run. Fourth tackle of the game for Revis. And he'll go to the air. Final play of the half. And it's going to be picked off by Paul Kraus. And that's the way the half will end. 21 to 7 in favor of Joel C.P. Fourteen point lead for that man right there. That's our admin, Justin Chow, who's who's stepping in and letting them know it's, it is the opening week here in the Ultimate League, and there could be some scenarios down the road that could come to point differential, things like that. So he's letting them know that there's. There's no such thing as conceding here. We play it all the way through. You got to run through the tape at the end. And that's not a good sign if you're ghost. If the admin's coming up to you telling you at halftime, hey, you can't concede this. Ma I mean, there's still a whole other half to play. Who's to sure. say that's even <laughs> in the question, but. So the lead is 14 for Joel CP. Over goes. Ready to start the third quarter. And the bad news is Joel's going to get the ball first to start the half. Joel's playing phenomenal John Madden football. He's got Ghost in a mental pretzel right now. It's going to be kicked out of bounds. Out of the, so Joel will start the opening possession of this half of the 40-yard line. I'm just thoroughly impressed that... Uh, Ghost's offense that we haven't seen get stopped in, you know, the last two weeks. 
Already all kinds of turnovers, only seven points on the board. And it's, it's very apparent that Joel CP has been working on his game since losing to Young Kiv in the final four of that Madden Challenge. Second and 10, needs a stop here. Try to crawl back into this one. Down two scores. Reed and T.Y. Hilton have been huge. And he scrambles out. Looking downfield. And it's picked off by Night Train Lane. And Lane has some room, cuts it back. And Andre Reed will stop him at the 42. This could be just what Ghost needed. Oh, that's exactly what Ghost needed. Come out, get an interception of your own, get some momentum, get your high-powered offense back on the field. We could have a ball game here. We've seen Joel throw a few of those in the first half. This one comes back to bite him. Yeah, Joel very pass-happy out there under that spread formation. Not a lot of running. The There's a 10-yard loss. Make it 11 on first down. All the way back at the 32. And Ghost has had a tough time picking up the pressure. I need Joel to get me in the lab. You see this defense he's running? Able to pick up pressure. the pressure that time. And Harrison spins back. It's going to be a gain of six. Here comes third and 15. Goes already three interceptions. There might have been more interceptions than we've seen him throw in the last two weeks. Wallace solo to the right. He's going to flip the bunch. And Ghost talked to me about this. He likes to flip the bunch a lot at the line of scrimmage because it messes up his opponent's adjustments. Mariota. Time finds Harrison and it's going to bring up a fourth and manageable two yards shy of the 50. This is a huge play. This is a huge play, Scott. If you're Ghost, you've been fighting to keep momentum. Your offense has gotten stopped a whole bunch of times. You got the big interception. You, you, you can't get stopped here on fourth down. You can really get, keep it going if you can pull off this first down and keep this drive alive. But getting stopped would be tragic to his chances to win this game. This is big. Needs to get to the other 48 to keep the drive alive. 3.05 to go here in the quarter. And Mariota finds Harrison. Oh, he and it. he dropped no. it. No, no, no. And Rivas came up and made the play. That's the 94 flashback. That's a good read right there by Ghost, but you see the rat catch instead of the possession catch getting a little greedy right there, Coltrane. And that's what allowed the defender to come over and strip the ball out before he could secure the catch. I said earlier he wasn't looking like the flashback version, but showed it there, and here's a bomb! Right back! And picked off again! And that'll be a touchback, and they'll place it on the 20. Oh, Joel showing that he has some trouble closing these games out. Getting all kinds of stops, but gives it right back. On the next play, the Ghost gives them all the momentum. Got to turn these into points. This is bananas, Scott. There's a loop, and oh! there's a bomb. No. Knocked away by Marshawn Lattimore. And this is the problem with some of the younger players. Up two possessions in the third quarter. Goes right back to Aaron it out, turns the ball over. You would have liked to see him run the ball, try to take away some of the clock and shorten this game. And Mariotti's going to air it out again. It's going to be picked <laughs> off. What are we watching? Oh, he swagged. It's a little bit of swag and he's got room. Good tackle. Back and forth. That's the second interception of the ball game for Mel Renfro, who, of course, the legend from the Cowboys. Oh, that's got to be devastating for Coach. He just, nobody wants to keep the momentum. It's just, it's just like a, a game of hot potato. How many times are we going to see the deep pass get picked off? And Joel has left a lot of opportunities for goes to get back in this game and he's been unable to seize the situation. And, 
This is kind of a lack of experience right here by Joel. You see him hike that ball with 21 seconds left on the play clock. Oh, you got to eat it up, man. You got to continue to just kill this clock. 17-point lead with there a field he goes. goal here. There he goes. Puts the chew clock on, and we see a jump up front. And that's going to mark off five yards, first and 10 from the 16. Got caught making his coaching adjustments too aggressive for that defensive line. And the thing that really hurts Ghost right there is Joel had already killed the clock down to 10 seconds left on the play clock, then gets the penalty. So it resets it's still his running. play clock, but the game clock's still running. So he, he gets additional time. He gets the milk here. And he's doing the right thing now. He's just letting that play clock tick down, slow this game down, run the ball, take your three if you need to, kick the field goal, make it three possession ball game. Second and 11. We talked about the youth in this elite conference, Division A. Goes Joel CP, Noble Prodigy, and Blocky, who got in with problem beat deliverance in the AFC championship game of the club series. How about Blocky? I would have paid how much money would you have paid for the footage of Blocky <laughs> watching yesterday's event with his ultimate league life on the line? I mean, if deliverance wins that game against problem, Blocky's out. Would have been intense. And so Deliverance is the was the man on the other side of the bubble. He finishes 17 out of 16. And he had to get to the top 16 to get into the ultimate league. And that'll end the third quarter. 21 to 7. A lot of action in the third, but no scores. 21 to 7. Back here at the start of the fourth quarter. 14-point game. Just five minutes to go for Goes to try to put a comeback together. But the bad news is Joel CP is about to make it a three-score game. And the short field goal is up, and it is good. 24-7 to seven now. I'm in shock, Scott. I, when we came into this game, you were asking, is Ghost going to be able to carry over the momentum from yesterday. And it's not uncommon. You know, I didn't you, know. You have an underdog. And let's be honest. Ghost was the underdog in, in, in that game against Problem. You get the huge victory. You get, you're on such a high that it's tough to come back, you know, and sort of match that intensity. And he's having a bit of a letdown. Well, yeah. I mean, ran into a young, hungry goon in Joel C.P. Here's the pressure again. I mean, he obviously came here to play. That was Jabril Peppers playing that middle linebacker out of position. And he's got some wheels. And here's Grant finally gets behind the defense. And it's a touchdown. He's given up two bombs that have led to the 14 points. <laughs> Not too happy about it, and that just seems the only way Ghost is really able to get these touchdowns. Like you said, the two bombs. Now Ghost talking to Joel, telling him don't fold. If you can get a quick stop here, that might be what happens. 24 to 14, it's a 10 point game now. Oh gosh. Got oh, some God. open space, <laughs> and he's going to answer the bomb, and T.Y. Hilton is balling out. Touchdown, Joel. Oh, man. If you go, you can't say, don't fold, don't fold, and then immediately give up the kick return for a touchdown. It's not how you win John Madden football games. And it's like nothing ever happened. 31 to 14, the lead is back to 17. And that body language on the screen says it all. Joel's bouncing up and down, rapping. Who knows what he's got in that playlist. And his Probably playlist. some Katy Perry or something like that. <laughs> Don't do him like that. <laughs> big time kicker turn for T.Y. Hilton, who's had a big day. 
for Joel CP. This is, he's going to be a fun player to watch throughout this entire Ultimate League, huh? We still get nine more games of him after this. Second and seven. Again. Throws it up again. Touchdown. And he gets behind him and it drops it. And he's so aggressive, not only with his pass rush, but he's crashing down with those safeties. And the seam is wide open. Quick throw to Grant. This time he hangs on to it and advances it out to the 46. And the clock is not his friend right now, trailing by 17. Yeah, no, nah, if you're going, you need points in a hurry. Fourth quarter, only 340 left. Mariota finds Wallace. And so we're going to have a second and three. 330 to go in the game. My only request is that we get a Joel interview with Adrian after the game. I know people. I think I can arrange that for you. Is that too much to ask for? Well, sometimes you can be quite a diva, RG, but I think I think we can hook you up this time. Jeez, am I really divish? <laughs> no. As long as long as there's barbecue, you're good, and I'm the same way. So second and three. Of all the people we got in the leagues and on the broadcast, I, I, I'm willing to concede that you're the less, you know, you're the least diva of us all. Thank you. I mean, if you want to be, you know, a grizzled veteran, you can't be a diva. I'd probably go Justin Chow, maybe the most diva. I'm with it. And then we go down I'm from there. Yeah, like, now I'll be honest, as long as we I love both of you guys. The first time the most defense, right? <laughs> yes. All right, all right. Just making sure. I'm with it. It's 31 to 14 here. Second and 10 from the 28. It's been all Joel CP. Joel CP's got a week two game against Blocky. Be his oh, next matchup. Those his next matchup will be against awful. Noble Prodigy. You are awful. You know, we saw Joel working a lot of running. It's given him some success, but he got down so quickly early that he sort of abandoned the running game altogether. Third and 17 now. It somehow gets it out to Harrison. All the way down to the eight. That was a pretty throw. Mariota, look at this. Right before the hit, throws a laser, throws Harrison open. That was a nice play by Ghost. Half back inside, right up that middle. Watch for the wheel route. He's going to throw a high pass. And the only problem is he threw it to Mel Rimpro, who picks off his third hey, interception of the game. Right? You keep throwing to my team by accident. <laughs> you want me to punch you the ball? He's <laughs> Well, point differential could come into play. You, you. I'm not condoning blowing someone out here, but I got, points I, can matter. I wonder what type of trash talk rating Dottie Moore would give Joel. <laughs> I mean, he's telling me, hey, you remember, I'm, I'm the Steelers. You don't want to throw me the ball. Then he asks him if you want me to punt it to you. Wow. 2.19 to go. And Joel CP is starting to put this one in the refrigerator. Butter's getting hard. Jello's getting jiggly. Say Jello. Third and five. Strong showing here in the opening week for Joel. And here's a bomb. It can't be held on into triple coverage. It's going to be fourth and five at the 25. Well, Joel just trying to go deep, go for the gusto. <laughs> Up 17 in the... Fourth quarter. He's relentless. He's, he's a ruthless young buck that Joel CP is. And Night Train Lane with a truck. And he's got some space. Ew. And it looks like Night Train Lane's going to take this one all the way back to the house. 
And that's the last thing that Joel wanted to see. Touchdown goes. I mean, that punt return was nasty. I mean, it might have been a little too little too late, but oh my goodness. Not this again, Ghost. Did he just troll us? Did we get trolled there? Or was that real? Let's, uh, let's look at this replay. Good truck, good spin, gets to the outside, outruns him. But it's not a good sign to see Ghost missing extra points. I mean, for those that don't know. He's got a history of that. Ghost has a history of missing some big kicks. I mean, Rico's trolled them a couple times about it. Decades. Com communities let him hear about it. We thought that was behind him. First and ten. Didn't mean too much, though, in this game, I don't think. And I think it's tough. You know, guys like Joel have been sitting around, like, you know, waiting to play this opening week, and Goes has had to go through a gauntlet. That started down in Orlando. Well, really, it started a couple weeks ago up in Washington, D.C. Earned a spot down in Orlando at the Pro Bowl. Got here and really had the victory of his of his life last night. And then, oh, Nelly, here comes Joel. Yeah, I mean, like you said, maybe just a little hungover from the glory of last night. Yeah, a little he fatigue. He did make $35,000, win a championship belt represented his favorite team the washington redskins and then you got to get up for a regular season game then you get smacked in the mouth by joel cp no timeouts for goes and he takes a big hit at the 27 but that's enough to move the chains and joel this is one of those guys he streams often see him looking at ghosts Entertaining fellow, but I feel bad. <laughs> he said, I feel bad, Scott. <laughs> but you can watch him stream on Twitch and see him prepare for these type of events, and he, he's a real character. You know Ghost is going to be looking forward to their Week 10 matchup. We were talking about point differential earlier, and, and if you get to a tiebreaker scenario, you know, 12 players make the playoffs, and we're talking about seeding and, you know, what's going to happen there, and... So every point matters. And right now, these guys are just two dudes on a couch. This one's over. Good trash talk. And now here's the thing you need to understand, though, about Joel. It's, it's not like the game's going to be over and there's going to be some tension and some beef and we're, you got to break the guys up. It's a good game. Here you see it. They shake their hands, and they'll show that sportsmanship. But Joel's the type of guy, once that match starts, you're his enemy, and he's going to let you hear about it. And you know what? I'm not mad at him. Your final score, Joel 31, goes 20, as Joel moves to 1-0 and in the Ultimate League. So that one's in the books. Really a dominant performance. He went up 14 to nothing at the beginning of the game. Goes really never got back into it. And then when he finally got a spark, it was just much too late. Yeah, just too many turnovers for Ghost. But you know what? I'm glad that the community and everyone watching it has been exposed to Joel CP because he's an entertaining player. He was a young buck who couldn't compete on the circuit last year. People expected him to make noise. And boy, did he make more than a little bit of noise here <laughs> to kick off Ultimate League. Can't wait to see more of him. Yeah, that'll make a, start, uh, that'll make a quick spark in this one to start it. He's standing by with Adrian Lawrence. Joel, nice win. You dominated against the Madden Club champion. What do you got to say for yourself? I told you before, I told you again, he didn't deserve the championship. If Sammy didn't block my kick, I would have beat him in the first place. He's lucky to even get on the stage, so it was kind of fun entertaining him in the first quarter. But clearly I was way better than him. I dominated that game easily. And you did have three interceptions against him and just a wealth of points there. What was it that made you so dominant? I just know exactly what he's doing. I'm a really, really good defensive player. Uh, I key on adjustments like that. I really kind of credit that to my chess background. And it was just I knew what he was doing before he, he knew what he was doing. I knew four steps ahead. So I mean, I just felt really comfortable. I didn't really think I was going to lose the game at any point. I kind of just got to control my emotion and just know when to cap, when to not, because I feel like I really could have beat him by 50. And in the Ultimate League, you're going to be facing a number of elite competitors. Is there anybody out there that you aren't sure if you can beat? Uh, I think the only person probably is Prob. 
That's it. Uh, reason being is his defense is really, really good, and I struggle versus it if I don't have tight flex. After that, maybe Drini and Kiv. My top man, guys. After that, no one's better. No one's good. And you're going to go against Blocky next week. How are you going to prepare for that? Uh, I just got to watch some film, just know what he's going to do. I know he's going to try to uh, run bunch in 3-3-5, and as long as he doesn't come out with some, some other stuff, I feel like I'll really be, feel really, really confident, just like I did in this game. Congratulations again. Thank you. Back to you guys.